Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're going to, uh, we're going to find out what have people been saying behind your back lately and what did they say today is the 5th of december 2023 time here in kuala lumpur malaysia is 10 24 a.m okay virgo let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for virgo what have people been saying behind virgo's back and what did they say and virgo these people can be anybody people you work with people you've had romantic connections with friends family or even people who look at your social media if you're active on your social media okay Nada ones at the bottom of the deck. Now, the first card that came out was the Three of Pentacles. Virgo, if you work with people, again, it could be either you work with people or people watch you work, okay? Um, somebody. Somebody has been talking about the way you work, okay? You see, these two people are actually, like, talking to each other. While this one is left there doing his or her job, like sculpting, somebody could be talking about either the quality of your work or it, it feels like you set yourself apart from these two. They kind of look like they are gossiping, right? Two of them talking, also behind this person's back. I feel like Virgo, um, some of them may say something really good about the quality of your work, but because if you look at this statue here, it is beautiful. The way you pay attention to details or how hardworking you are while these two are like chatting, gossiping, and here you are hard at work. It could also indicate like maybe you don't really group up with these people like it's almost like these two are like very close while you're up here doing your own thing minding your own business right i feel like it could be some sort of a jealousy because the star here is in reverse there's somebody who could be doubting you okay doubting doubting you even though they know you're good at what you do because the three of pentacles is like work in progress so something you haven't finished yet you ha you haven't finished doing something and they may talk about oh i don't know virgo if if virgo can finish it i don't know if virgo can make it you know because the star here is in my first so haven't quite reached the target yet or haven't quite reached the goal yet so somebody could be talking about how maybe the task or whatever it is that you could have been working on um, is difficult, it's challenging. They could be down here as well, acting as though like, ugh, if I was Virgo, I would give up. If I was Virgo, I don't know if this could, I wouldn't do it by myself, you know, because this person is by himself or herself. Ace of Pentacles here is in one verse. It's almost like talking about whatever you want to achieve in your life, it's just impossible. Because the star is like something that is impossible, right? Something out of reach. Some of you Virgo, you could be working towards something that to many people or to these people, they may think that it's out of reach, it's, it's difficult, it's hard. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. If I, I don't know if Virgo would make it happen or not. You know, look at the Four of Cups right here. But it could also mean that Virgo, some of you could be working very hard and you just could be ignoring certain things 
um, rejecting certain things because you want to focus on your work, right? It could also, it could be like friends, family, whoever who have invited you to something and maybe you don't want to go or maybe you're late. It could be anything, okay? And Four of Cups is a boring card. I hate to say you are boring. Um, but I'm also Virgo, by the way, okay? I'm not picking, picking on you. Um, but the Four of Cups is supposed to be like a, either it's like an, an unenthusiastic or boredom um, and look at the three of pentacles here again these two people are talking and then here you are just like focusing on whatever it is somebody could be saying that you're boring okay um, like boring but not in a sense where like you are a boring person but more so like your focus is elsewhere they may feel rejected. It could be them who feel rejected by you because you don't want to do something that they want you to do. That probably could be fun for them, but for you, it's not fun, right? So, like, if somebody says this person is boring, it really depends. It's a very, it's very subjective because... To me, playing video games is boring to some people, but to a lot of people, playing video games is fun, right? So there's something here, okay, Virgo, and then we've got the strength here. Some people or one person, someone could be saying that. Is somebody very strong, okay? You do the impossible because if you look, how many people would want to go tame a lion, go be a zookeeper? I'm not saying you're a zookeeper, but some of you, maybe you are a zookeeper or that you could be an animal lover. Some of you, maybe you are, and somebody could be talking about the way you handle your animals, your pets, your, you know, or that maybe you, you're a cat lady, you have seven, eight cats, <laughs> right? Like you stay home with your pets all the time. Like Taylor Swift, she's a cat lady, right? So, but, um, Virgo, some of you maybe it could be that, but also it could mean the strength. How many people have the ability to tame a lion, right? To do the impossible, to do a lot of things that not many people can do or would do. They might give up in the midst of it or that they straight away say, oh, this is too hard, too challenging. I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I can. But you can, right? So there's something that you could be working on right now or that something that you may have already achieved that some people may be talking about how did Virgo do it? How did she or he achieve that? Because to most people, it's hard. It's impossible with a star right here, right? So we've also got the chariot. Chariot is somebody who is in control of their life, um, but also somebody who is moving towards success. So you could be on your way to success or you're on your way out. You're on your way to somewhere, okay? Wherever you're going, you could be traveling, you could be moving, you could be, somebody could be talking about your movement, okay, lately, or your intention to move. And then we've got the Nine of Swords here. Nine of Swords is definitely somebody who overthinks, um, paying attention to details again. But most Virgos pay attention to details, right? Um, but the Nine of Swords, it could also mean that somebody could be talking about you lately behind your back, saying that you stress them out. Okay, Nine of Swords, they could say that too. That you're stressing them out because you are either you're controlling or that you are going away or you're moving away. Um, they could mean that in a more of a negative aspect of things, but this could also be just them, somebody here saying that, I don't know how Virgo does it, but Virgo is doing it and he or she is like getting ready to do it or is almost there 
getting things done. And you also have the two of cups right here for Rhoda. Somebody who speaks actually good things about you recently. Um, this person loves you, cares about you. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Strong Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's two cups in that bright position. So, Virgo, there's someone also whom, oh, that's another thing I'm seeing here. Maybe this, this has happened lately or it could be from a gazillion years ago. But there is somebody who has been talking behind your back saying um, something really good about you. It's almost like you help this person do something. Okay, three of pentacles, work in progress. They were in the midst of giving up, but you gave, you gave them strength. You helped them, okay, in some way, shape, or form. You helped them get their lives back together or whatever situation they could be dealing with because the chariot has control over this, these two sphinxes that would want to go to you know, a different, want to take a different path, want to move to a different direction because they are both opposites. So somebody may, say, may have said like, they were the ones with the sphinxes running amok and had no direction where they didn't know what to do, they didn't know where to go. And here you are, you know, kind of, this is similar to like taming the lion, right? Getting the lion to do what, what she wants. And this chariot is kind of like similar. Um, she's getting the sphinxes to go to where she wants them to go so Virgo you may have somebody may have talked said something really good about you lately saying that you taught them certain things or you helped them um, you because the chariot this person is reigning in the, the sphinxes reigning them in so it's almost like Virgo you could be there's someone here where you may have actually made them see something where um, perhaps it isn't so bad perhaps it can be done right you may have even just helped them fix something right through your pentacles um, and you did well and they're very appreciative okay there's this energy of like i'm bored i i want to give up but then virgo came right as just like <laughs> look look at the chariot just like could be like a hero, right? You just came like a hero and you helped this person solve their problems. And it looks like this energy to a cups just feels like they are forever indebted with you. Indebt yeah, and then we've got the Knight of Cups here in reverse. It could also indicate that maybe this person's tank or tank feel it's almost like it's finished because the cup is in reverse so something is being spilled here but then you came in you merged with them and then things got better okay it could be anything Virgo you know let me know in the comment box below but it just feels like you may have come in and saved the day when all hope was lost with the um, star here in reverse as soon as you came into this person's life or as soon as you merge with them, um, help them, it could be a merging of like business or merging of partnership, um, any sorts of partnership, romantic or work partnership, right? As soon as you came in, everything looks much more in control with the cherry here. Everything looks like it's on its right track, okay? The two of cups also can indicate there's somebody who is possibly still in love with you. They could be holding back, right, with the strength here from expressing to you how they feel. But right now, this moment, this person could be feeling kind of vulnerable, nine of swords, just constantly thinking about what to do um, with you, what to do next, if they should try to heal this connection, offer you commitment, fix things or not okay this person could be talking to their best friend right two cups is like a best friend energy but let's see more virgo i'm a little bit slow today so please bear with me 
I need to drink some coffee right now. By the way, for the ones who have not seen the video for your 2024 prediction reading, go check it out, okay? It's actually on my second, uh, my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. But I'm going to leave it on the end screen in this video and you can click on it. Yours actually looks really, really good, so go check it out. I think the title says something along the lines of... Oh, it looks like everybody is gonna love you. Everybody's like a lot of people are gonna admire you. There's something beautiful there. Okay, so just go check it out if you want to for the entire year of 2024. I've decided to do like yearly, yearly reading or even like monthly on my main channel for all 12 individual sign. Okay, so we've got the eight of wands right here. You're very fast. You know, once it's a very fast energy, very efficient. So many Virgo, either you're very efficient, hardworking, fast, so you get things done fast, or eight oh ones also can indicate communication. Somebody could be talking about the past communication you had with this person. But eight oh ones is actually a good card, okay? So there's somebody whom also could be encouraging somebody to heal something with you, right? Ten of Swords in reverse. Because look, the lovers is right here. So that means somebody may encourage the other person, your person, to heal things with you. There's some good words about you. Okay, eight of wands, nine of wands. There's this energy of like, go, go, go fix things with Virgo. Go. It's like there's something here. Go choose Virgo, right? Because the... Um, lovers can indicate a choice so somebody may be encouraging somebody to choose you saying putting in good words about you um, with eight of wands right here and the you know ten of swords and lovers it's almost like oh forget about what had happened forget about whether it's their own trauma or if it's related to you or not there's this energy of like somebody saying hey you need to hold on to Virgo because Virgo is maybe one of a kind Virgo is very different, right? Bad Pentacles and up first. This is like a coming back around, reconciling. So I do see somebody could be encouraging maybe someone in your life, um, whether it's in, in the past or currently, encouraging them to talk to you, encouraging them to go towards you, encouraging them to hold on to you to heal things with you, right? To be with you. At the end of the day, the two of, uh, two of, two of cups are here. So there's this encouragement where, like, I really don't see. The only bad part, Virgo, not even that p bad, but I just feel like, Virgo, some people just don't know if you can make it, whatever you've been trying to achieve in your life. Wherever you're going next, any changes that you're making in your life, um, some people are doubtful of it because they don't know if, you, if they themselves could do it. Like, But anyway, mostly I feel like Virgo, uh, some people may have been talking really good things about you, right? That's, it just feels very encouraging, 801s and the 901s here. It's like somebody just like keeps saying, go, go, go. Because the 901s is like very action oriented as well so someone could be saying like come on go go get virgo go talk to virgo go fix things with virgo if there have been anything if something has happened between two of you right hold on to virgo she's he or she is precious one of a kind <laughs> the chariot here it again it feels like it's like someone literally like getting this person to take your phone out, text Virgo, or go now, like push the person literally physically. I'm just giving an example, it could be that. But I feel like maybe this person is kind of lack of courage, okay? Maybe afraid also of being rejected, getting rejected by you. But do see there's somebody talking about uh, wanting, you know, hoping both of you could actually you know, resolve whatever issues that both of you may have with each other. Yeah, it's definitely like 
someone is say, putting in really good words about you to this person to either choose you or to fix things with you but i still feel like maybe this person is kind of afraid right kind of afraid because the, the angel is dealing with the lion so they're afraid you're going to reject them or you're going to say something mean to them but for you let me get a sip of coffee i sound tired don't i <laughs> I might go live later. I'll take a bit of a rest first. Ten of Cups here is in reverse. And now I've got the Temperance. Virgo. You have somebody lately encouraging someone to make peace with you. Okay. Because the Temperance, you know, it feels like an angel. An angel, who, someone who is kind-hearted. Someone who is um balance and non-biased wants you and someone to resolve their issues um your issues together and the temperance also can indicate maybe this person has been saying really good things about you like you're an angel like all the positive qualities about you your kindness right see ten of cups here is in reverse indicates a separation three of cups in one first another card that indicates a separation Page of Wands in one first. Page is a messenger. This person could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So there's a bit of a, a back and forth here, as you can see with Eight of Wands. So you've got one person here encouraging the other person to fix things with you, to talk to you. Well, the other person may say, oh, it's like really reluctant, very reluctant, and just possibly could be saying let me just stay to myself keep to myself first right i don't feel confident or i don't think this is this can be achieved i'm afraid of being rejected by virgo hmm. now this has turned into like something <laughs> this has turned into something unexpected virgo some of you virgo too if you have gone through a separation someone could be talking about your separation okay between you and somebody could be a little bit it doesn't feel honestly it doesn't feel like it could be three of cups and three of pentacles a bit of a gossip but also this energy of concern yeah let's pull out more cards here for a girl let's see more ah <laughs> We will be together again, so yeah, there's someone, you know, this person, there's someone here, for sure, who wants to, who wants to fix things with you, and they could be talking about you in regards to that, and also I see another person just telling them, supporting, not really supporting them, like more like encouraging them to talk to you, to fix things with you, okay? And we've got some time to stay awake thinking about you. So this person can't stop thinking about you. I know that I crossed the line with you. See, Virgo, maybe this person did cross the line with you. And someone could be encouraging them. It could be a mutual friend. It could be anybody, friend. It could be a family member, a friend, whoever. Okay, I know that I crossed the line with you. So this person may have crossed the line with you. And they may, they, I think it, it feels like, they accept they accept that they did something wrong okay and the other people maybe also may also be agreeing to the fact that maybe they did did something wrong and they need to apologize to you because the temperance can indicate apology as well um i feel you leaving behind me so there's someone you have kind of like left i want to feel that way again no wanting things to go back to how it used to be i feel like this could be you know a recent event or in the past doesn't matter how long ago but i do see this this person just kind of holding back and just keeping to himself or herself and yeah they may have been talking about you and they may not even really want to talk about it actually because the page of wants you some of first but 
I see them talking about you, but then also at the same time, I see the other people talking more about you, encouraging this person to make amends with you. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. Sorry, I'm, I'm so slow today. But I uh, hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels, especially my Chelsea Love Tarot, my main channel. That's where I go live. That's where I do you know, lucky draw and monthly, weekly reading and yearly reading. All right, Virgo. Um, and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time I post your videos. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.